Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dr. Tom Show. I'm Jesse, along with me as always is Dr. Tom. And Dr. Tom, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little sleepy though. I, on this past weekend, oh, oh God, Jesse, it was, oh, it was rough. Oh, really rough. Yeah. first question is from Haley, and it says, it doesn't say where she's from, but it says, Dr. Tom, you sound as old as my grandpa. Are you old as shit? You know what? I might be old as shit, but I can still seem to turn it, you know what I mean. I might... Dr. Tom, I think I, think I screwed up. I think that's... Kyle again. Isn't it? You know, hey, I, Haley sounds kind of similar, doesn't it? It does. But you know what, Kyle? It ain't near the holiday. So you know what? I'll be nice to you. I'm not old as, as your mama is, but then again, let me give you some Satan's greetings for that ho, ho, ho. Next. Question. Our first real question is from Brad, and Brad is from Tempe, Arizona. He says, Dear Dr. Tom, would you rather be blind? Wait a minute. Let me let me read that question again, Dr. Tom. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, no. Oh, would you rather have no nose but have really good smelling fingers? Hmm. Or be blind and have a really nice smile. Well, I think the whole the whole finger thing, and this and you might not know about this, but you can use your finger to go in lots of uh, really good places. Yes, I um, know. But on the other hand, you I can, wasn't born yesterday, Doctor. Well. I, I didn't know. I mean, you don't look like you get a whole lot, you know. Not like Dr. Tom going to love me. I need to love me. No, 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 no. Anyway, sorry. Uh, but you know, the other thing is uh, the whole thing can go in something really bad. I mean, like. Huge wing that smell like doo doo up in there and then not in that in that same place. But you know, speaking of that I got an old story about an old friend of mine. He was he was with old uh whore. I can't forget and y'all tell me not to say whore. Why won't they let me say whore? I don't know. That's a nice word, Dr. Tom. It it, it but, implies that a a woman or a man is very sexually active and some people think that's a bad thing with multiple different people oh and that's why they don't want me to say whore yes okay well my friend was when this nut and uh dr tom that's the same thing no it's not it smells totally different but they don't even have the same letter in them Alright, Dr. Tom, next question. The next question is from Rupert E. from Cleveland, Ohio. And he says, Dear Dr. Tom, if you are bald and you work in a restaurant, do you still have to wear a hairnet? I know because I usually cut naked. And, uh, yeah, I know you don't want none of them kind of hair. Did in you your... get fired from these jobs? Because most people wouldn't, want, wouldn't let you cook naked. Well, that's why I'm doing the different podcast. <laughs> I need the money, <laughs> and, and, and I spread my my knowledge out to everybody. But yeah, you know they kind of get upset when you're back there, and you know you're and, and you're naked. But I, I had a hairnet on, you know. I mean, it wasn't like I'm doing an old Cleveland steamer on somebody. You know, I'm just back there cooking some soup. You know, making. You know, I'm making some, some no-nuts, you know. They get offended whenever they walk back there and, and see it all hanging out like that. But hey, I didn't wear the mistletoe on that time. Well, that's good. Our next question is from Melissa O. 
Also from Cleveland, Ohio, she says, Dear Dr. Tom, would you rather live and be alone or about to die with a group of your friends? Uh, how about, um, I'm never alone because I'm not Dr. Tom, the number. Uh, and let's see, that is a pretty hard question right there. Uh, Let's see, okay, I'd probably rather live alone because most of my friends, I don't really like a whole lot, you know. Um, but yeah, I'd rather live alone because that don't mean I can't go out and get busy. You know what I mean, Nancy? Like, find old horn, <coughs> I mean, uh, and slut on the street horn and be like, hey, baby. You know, you want to come back to my little apartment here and we get down and get funky like a monkey, you know? And our final question is from Rex R. It says he is five years old. I don't know why someone who's five is listening to Dr. Tom. He listening to him, Danny. He's, he's from New York City. And yep. he says, Dear Dr. Tom, have you ever tried to swallow toothpaste? Uh, hey... Dr. Tom, uh, Lil Rexy, and it, Dr. Tom not a swallower. Um, Dr. Tom don't do anything like that. Uh, is, is Dr. Tom a spitter? Uh, Dr. Tom don't put nothing like that in his mouth. Uh, he puts it in under horn. <clears throat> I mean, not in his mouth. Dr. Tom, he is five. Uh, he's doing listening to the show and asking the question. Hey, other ladies. Oh, yeah, um, the, the, the nightly escort services, <laughs> in the um, they, yes. they, they're the one that usually do the kind of swallowing or, or, or spitting, um, but you shouldn't be swallowing toothpaste, um, that's not good for you. It don't make your uh, your your doo doo smell any better. It, it might make you a little sick, and uh, it won't. I'm trying to put, how I'm putting this nice. Um, you know that little thing between your legs. Um, if you swallow toothpaste, it won't get any bigger. Uh, this uh, has been the Doctor Tom Show. We will see you next week. And y'all don't forget to ask me questions, anything you want to ask.